Alright, before we get started with the video, if you guys can, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button for the algorithm. Also, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified whenever I do upload a video. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to go over how to manage a vending business in 2022. So whether you have a job or not, or this, if this is your side hustle or your main gig, you always want to plan out what day you will go and check up on machines and fill them up. You don't want to wait too long to check up on machines, especially if it's a busy location. Like every week is fine or every two weeks, but not much longer than that because some places, if they see that you aren't keeping machines filled up properly, they want to find somebody else that can meet their needs and that can actually keep the ma machines full like they need. After you plan what day that you go, you will go and check up on machines, you always want to be prepared with what you need to fill the machines up. So you want to go and check the machines and see what needs to be refilled and any product that has been sitting too long you want to go ahead and swap it out just because you want to keep making sales and with um, um, getting a product I would recommend if you have like a phone or um, a laptop you want to write down every every snack that you put in that machine so what I normally do is I take pictures and then whenever I go home I write down each individual snack and um, the row and everything and then I already know what I need to buy and eventually as you get into the routine you already know what's going to sell faster so you already know what you're going to have to fill up whenever you do get there and so that's just easier on you because it saves you from going to the place seeing what you need going to the store and then coming back this way you could just go to the store go to the plate to the vending machine fill up collect the cash and be done then after you see what needs to be added you want to have a set store you go to get um to get those supplies to cut to cut down time just because you don't want to be in a rush trying to find a, the nearest store and then you don't even check the prices and that cuts into your profit margins on your machines just because that that is a big impact on you and then don't forget that after you fill up you always want to collect that money and see how much you made and that is how you run and manage your vending business in 22 2022 I want to say thanks for watching and that is how I have done it that is how I do it to this day I do work a job but yet I still have I run by this I would say this step-by-step -step thing and it makes it a whole lot easier on my part and see you next time